Founders Floor, a co-working accelerator for startups. And a lot of times your passion for shifting into the nonprofit space or going and doing founding is going to lead you to go and make bad decisions about how you're going to go and do it. This video is brought to you by Procopia Law, the recommended law firm of Founders Floor. Um, but what I found in general is that there are three areas that you have to go and consider when you are going to, and unfortunately, you tend to only think about one of them when you are a founder. There's the market circumstances. You get an idea, this great idea that you want to go and see brought to the world. And one of the things you have to go and consider is the market circumstances, are they favorable or not? Then there's the career circumstances, are those favorable or not? And then there's the personal circumstances, are those favorable or not? And so the perils of passion, they're going to misread each of those circumstances. The more you can have a clear picture of those, be able to see which ones of those um, aren't favorable. And then even more so that you're not waiting until the last minute to go and evaluate this, because with the luxury of time, you can go and make each of these more, more, uh, more favorable for yourself. If you go and you look at all the things I'm missing on my career checklist, and actually, I'm missing a couple of things that'll be what I need to go and found and succeed. With a couple of years worth, you can go and plot a path to going and reinforcing those. If it's that your network is missing in some areas, you can go and start coming to events like this and building your network to be able to get stronger in that. On the personal side, being able to go and maybe scale back a bit, being able to go and have a lower personal burn rate so you can save up some of that seed money that you're going to need, some of the cushion that you're going to need to be able to go and reduce the, the risks on the family side. Maybe you go and scale up, move into a smaller house or give up the mortgage to start rent, et cetera, like a bunch of ways in which you can go and live like a founder before you are founding. And then it's going to be a much more favorable family situation, not going to be a shock to the system to uh, be going and scaling back right at that point. And so with the luxury of time, with the foresight, and with the clearer evaluation that what your passion is going to lead to, then you're going to be able to do a much better side of being able to go and evaluate when is the right time to leave.